van build is moving right along when the majority of the framework and foundational things completed. Installation came in the form of sheep wool, windows were installed, and my highly anticipated headliner shelf was cut and fitted. I revealed the layout of my van and talked about my general design and color palette that can be expected in my tiny home. In this episode, I install my luminous ladder and make my first mistake of the build. Happy Friday, everyone. Look at this box. Isn't this thing a big one? It's actually surprisingly light. Oh. In the box right there is probably the thing I have been the most excited to put on my van. And it's kind of just stupid, but I think it looks so sick. Now this is one of those products, kind of like the swivel seat, that is not necessary by any means, but at the same time, it's like kind of necessary. I'm really planning on like moving into this thing and like really trying to live and travel as far as I can in the van. So that means I'm gonna be using as much sort of like square inch that I need, including the roof. So I'm planning on putting a roof rack up there, having some like weatherproofing bags or something. My solar panel's gonna be up there, et cetera, et cetera. So you need to have a way to easily get up to the roof, you know? And right now it's like, I'm not gonna lug a ladder in the van and just use that. So long story short, that's kind of why I got this ladder. It mounts right in front of the wheel. It's completely aluminum. So it's like 25 pounds, really, really light. And they just look so sick. How sick is this thing? Well, it's pretty nice that I don't have to get all the way up on the roof, I think. But if you guys remember from a few episodes ago, this is one of the reasons why we installed this roof track up here, was that this is basically what the top of this ladder is going to mount to. So I didn't know this, but apparently stainless steel bolts can bind together if they are installed incorrectly and they can be really hard to get out if you need to. So they recommend putting a little bit of anti-seize lubricant, which they provided. I basically slid in these bolts in the track here, used their L brackets and then just screwed um, right into the side of the ladder there. And that's, that's about it. The bottom bracket is just a little more complex. I am gonna have to drill about three holes into the pinch weld here, but it shouldn't be anything crazy. C-clamps are definitely your friend in a situation like this. Now I need a quarter, quarter inch drill bit. Three holes through the pinch weld using the bracket as a template for alignment. And the super lightweight aluminous ladder, like 25 pounds, is now installed on the side of the van. I was super, super impressed with how easy the installation was. Took a little jimmy rigging at the end just to make sure I had the holes all lined up well, um, but I just went back through and tightened everything up. I'm gonna drive it for a little bit and then obviously go back and just make sure everything is still nice and snug, but so stoked on this and it just looks so sick. Check this out guys, it's kind of dark, but yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but this is my fabric. This is my upholstery for the headliner shelf. I ordered a marble pattern. I was going to just make it like blend in with the rest of the headliner, but then I was like, you know what? Why don't I make it like, why don't I make it look custom, you know? So I'm super stoked on this. I think it'll mesh well. It's kind of like a white, black, and gray speckled sort of fabric. Um, I'm gonna try to line this tomorrow. Unfortunately, I'm not done with the heater. And I'll explain more of that with you guys tomorrow, but for now, I'm gonna make some chicken strips for dinner because it's Friday and the weather's nice and it's just one of those nights. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I have some good news and I have some bad news. I might even just have more bad news than good news. I guess I'll start with the good news because the bad news is a little longer story. Let me show you what I've done this morning. So I'm just finishing up the install here on my diesel heater. And I was just putting in the fuel pump, which you can see right here. And this line basically runs all the way up and over to the heater port over there. I had to get a few fittings here. It basically taps into the auxiliary fuel tank from the van here. I had to get this sort of adapter to go from the big hose to the little hose. And then it runs around, pumps the fuel 
out to the heater. I think unfortunately after all this I put the heater in underneath the seat backwards. Now there are no directions for this at least English that I can find this is like I think it's a German company um, sounds like it so I've been kind of just going off YouTube videos and blog posts and things like that to try to make this work. And I think it's pretty adamant that I've never tried to claim this was like a how-to channel, more or less just like a vlog of me kind of documenting what I'm doing. And if someone learns a thing or two, either from things I'm doing or my mistakes, um, I guess that's just an added bonus. But I wanted to share this with you guys because it's it's part of my whole process, I guess. I obviously make mistakes, like I think I just did. And it would have been easy for me not to show this, I guess. And like, I don't know, just done something else and said like, all is well. I think what I'm literally gonna have to do is unplug everything from the bottom of the heater and take it out and try to remount it. Because as it sits, I can't get the blower hose in there to reroute. So hopefully I can leave my exhaust, my intake and my fuel pump where it is and I can just try to see what the next best steps are um, to kind of reverse this. But I'm going to be spending my Saturday now doing that and getting that set up. I ended up only drilling one more hole rather than trying to remount the whole thing. You can see my markings here. I was going to try to redo the whole thing. My issue that I don't see in any other videos is that I have these hoses. You can kind of see it through the hole right there. I have this really thick hose and I have two other kind of a little more malleable hoses sitting right here. And so a lot of people have this whole area to work with, this whole channel, which would be super easy. But instead, um, I can't use any of this area. So my area of where I can drill and work is a lot um, a lot smaller than other people's, which is causing me a big problem. I think I'm just gonna sign off here for the night. I usually like being dirty, but like I've literally been underneath the van for eight hours, literally, which is just gross to even think about. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I don't really know why I get so frustrated and so upset when things don't go as planned. That was I guess the first major blunder I've had so far. And it just kind of, in the moment it seemed like I really messed up big time, but I think it, I think it'll work out just fine. Really everything is installed on the diesel heater. I just, I'm like almost, almost done. I need to basically run the fuel pump wires to now power the fuel pump out underneath the van and hook it up into that. Um, so if I can get that done, run some more wires to the diesel heater today, and then also I'm gonna try to wrap my headliner shelf. <laughs> cool to see just how much goes into the engineering of vehicles especially a van like this and this is just one area I mean look at all these wires so the idea is to run the fuel pump wire underneath the floor here through here and then there's actually a booty right there where all those wires are that would drop out right by the fuel pump actually so I ran the fuel wire down through the booty here and the kit came with a little uh, wire holder basically and I plugged each wire into the back of that it doesn't matter which wire goes in which port and then I just plug that into the top of the fuel pump there and that's about it I'm gonna pull the rest of this up through there so it's tight I'm gonna probably zip tie this together um, leave a little slack here tape the rest of this re-zip tie the booty and then really the fuel pump wiring will be all done this is an example of like knowing where you want to have everything when you do your wiring because I basically just had to run a wire from our source here these two I run it up around kind of through the insulation and I basically ran it right across this factory loom and then I ran it down through the trim here underneath the driver's seat through the clamshell and then brought these wires out right here and this will ultimately give power um, to the diesel heater mostly just for the fan and I think for the fuel pump as well because other than that it is basically just like an engine So if you've watched from the very beginning, you might remember this um, like work flooring, this rubber kind of all weather flooring that was in the van over the subfloor. And I think this headliner shelf um, is a good spot for it as well because um, it's gonna kind of be like a grab and go sort of shelf where it might be some wet gloves or just some dirty things or whatever. So I'm actually gonna use this as the top surface of it. 
and then wrap the bottom in that fabric that I showed you guys. I think that worked out pretty well. I'm gonna spray adhesive it down, obviously, and then I'll get all the air bubbles out, but I think that'll be a really nice surface for this stuff. And look how thick that is right there. It's about, I don't know, it's about half or a third of how thick the wood is. So this will be super, super good addition. I think that'll work out really nice. I was gonna take a photo with my hammock attached to the ladder, attached to a tree because I don't know, I thought it'd be cool, maybe for Instagram or something. And I got all the way up here and I realized I forgot, I have my hammock, but I don't have my straps to attach said hammock to anything. So that was a total bust, but it's super beautiful up here. Um, and the golden hour up here, I think is just one of the best. So I love when you guys leave comments, I really do. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Take it easy, fam. Peace out. <laughs> City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight